Hello everyone. How are you all? Hope you all are in high spirits. Okay. Before I start my session, I want you all to take a pledge. Pledge for what? You all would learn to love yourself. You all would learn to value yourself. Whether you are a man or a woman. If you are a man, you have to say, I love myself. I am born with certain talents that I can serve. I can give it to this society. But at the same time, I respect women for their talents, for their gifts. If you are a woman, you have to say, I am a woman. I love my existence. I am proud to be a woman because I am born with certain gifts such as nurturance, compassion, humility. But at the same time, I respect man. I understand them. This is the pledge you have to take. Okay? So, we begin our session. The topic is Break Stereotypes. Redefining men and women. Let's study. Let's define what is man and woman. What it to be a man and what it to be a woman. We can take the example of an organization. We can take the example of a university as an organization. A university has different departments such as psychology department, English department, statistics, law, sociology, not like this. All these departments have different heads. They all are equal, all the heads are equal because they occupy the same position, all are heads. A university is dependent on all these departments for the smooth functioning. Same is the case with man and woman. Man and woman both are equal. Can you imagine this world without males and can you imagine this world without females? It is not possible. So both are equal. Both are on the same platform. Nobody is inferior, nobody is superior. Then who is creating these differences? Why are men and women competing? Why they are being compared when they are equal? Both are required, rather both are dependent on each other for the smooth functioning of society. Society is dependent on men and women. Okay, so they are equal. And let's see what society does. Society put society and stereotypes, they put men and women on opposing sides and are downright disrespectful of both genders. So our society is creating the differences between men and women. Let's see how society put pressures on men and women. Let's take the case of men first because their problems have been ignored in the past. They are also victims, they are also sufferers. Let's see the stereotypes associated with men. What are the masculine traits? They are, society want them to be self-reliant. They want them to be assertive. They want them to be tough. They want them to be emotionally controlled. They want them to be ambitious, competitive, achievement oriented. So what happens is parents they want their son to be independent. They want their son to earn as early as possible. Sometimes sons, sometimes men they are not ready. They are not prepared. They are not, they are not ready for these challenges. Especially if your child, if your son is emotional, if, he's, if he is sensitive. He wants to remain in the secured environment, but you push away your son at a tender age, sometimes for studies, sometimes for jobs. 
you never give it a thought so what happens is they are not able to cope up with the stressors they lose interest in all the activities they remain sad and gloomy because they were not prepared so what happens is they give themselves a tag i am a failure so who is responsible for their failure sometimes somewhere parents we are responsible for their failure we should acknowledge their feelings we should try to understand them if they are not ready we should better give them time we should help them in their preparation parents please think it twice or thrice before you expose your son to the world full of uncertainties please this can be a big favor that you can do okay another thing we never allow men to express their emotions freely society do not allow them to cry openly sometimes they want to cry but they cannot cry they cannot show their intense emotions so parents we all should come together if we all would come together then this would become a norm they should be allowed to express their emotions they should be allowed to cry if they want they also want our love the way we love our daughters we should we should give them that kind of love they also they also uh, want that sense of touch so this is crucial for their health so we should help them to express their emotions freely okay now let's see what are the complaints of women what are their concerns let's see women say why i am a weaker sex why this society is not safe for me why my parents do not celebrate my birth you have these questions women these are some stereotypes what can we do do you want an answer i want to tell your first question is why i am a weaker sex now this question is baseless because i have already discussed you are not a weaker sex men and women are equal they are on the same platform they have equal positions in the society we cannot imagine the world without males and without females they are dependent we have discussed so this question is baseless you are not a weaker sex there is a biological difference between men and women that's it both are essential both are crucial next is why this society is not safe for me yes i agree the society is not safe for you but it is not safe for men too society is unjust unsafe unfair to everyone if you can become a victim of sexual abuse or an or an other type of abuse verbal abuse men can also become victims of physical abuse so many abuse there are so many abuses are there they can become victims society is is not good for anyone so society is not safe for anyone it is unsafe now predators assailants criminals psychopaths are everywhere so it is not so it is not like that it is not safe for you it is not safe for anyone these days another why my parents do not celebrate my birth they want to celebrate you are their child they are happy at your birth but when you but during your birth when you come in this world some uninvited guests they creep in they enter who are these uninvited guests these are society and its stereotypes they control your parents thoughts they present an arbitrary or artificial explanation distinction that is artificial between men and women so what happens is they snatch away all the celebrations so society 
is the main culprit. So what we have to do? See, we cannot change society overnight. But what we can do? We can bring a change in our parenting. Parents are role models for their children. Children copy them, imitate them. So what we can do? Parents, please present effective spouse relationships at home. Let them see that their parents are kind and polite to each other. Let them see that their parents share household responsibilities. Let them see that their father can cry sometimes and their mother can be aggressive. She can be ambitious. Please treat your children equally, especially if you have a son and daughter. They should be treated equally. Otherwise, they would develop animosity and grudges for each other for each gender. So in this way we can help and in this way our children they would get to know that men and women are equal and this is what we want to convey. Okay, So now to, towards the end of our session I would like you all to remember your pledge. What was the pledge? We have to value ourselves. We have to value our lives. We have to love ourselves. We would, we would, uh, we should respect ourselves, because men and women are equal. Nobody is superior. Nobody is inferior. Okay, so be a sovereign. Feel powerful from inside. Your lives matter. Your choices matter. Your voices matter. Lead a celebrity's life. Love yourself. Thank you.